Ladybug Lane Soaps and this is Margie and I hope everybody is having a good day. Thank you so much for joining me and start things off. I need to not be talking so much. I need to get going because I have a meeting that I need to get going to. So this is my second different type of soap that I have made and filmed today. So I'm putting on my goggles and my gloves are... Where did my gloves go? Oh my gosh. Find some gloves. Okay, that was a good one. Alrighty. This is called Blue Agave. Agave. It's from Nurture Soap. I have not used it yet. Ever. It's two ounces. It says no acceleration. Light discoloration. Hmm. Vanlin 1.36. So I'm wondering... I'll probably need to put a little bit of titanium dioxide maybe in the white if I do white. Oh goodness, I'm one of these crazy soapers that I don't exactly always have a plan up in my head. It's I, I'm kind of thinking more of colors, but as far as the plan, it just kind of depends upon what the fragrance oil is going to do. And then if it's maybe I'm thinking Maybe I'll do like a, um, oh, it's kind of a nice hanger swirl, but it says no acceleration, but in my soaping groups, Saponification Nation, a couple of gals said that they did experience heavy, ex or not, maybe not heavy, heavy acceleration, but acceleration, but I don't know if they added any sodium lactate or table salt in their lye water or other additives, which would make it turn thick world or something so all right housekeeping housekeeping so the color is now this is um what is it stormy blue mica from brambleberry have not used it before it's it's of a darker hue it, it almost looks like um i think nurture soap carries like what is it a cornflower blue or something and so i just have this in here, I just mixed it up with just a little, a uh, little bit of this oil, because I would like to keep the batter fluid. So I don't, or this time I want to try something different. So instead of putting the mica, you know, in the oils and then stick blend it, I want to see if I can just, you know, just keep this a little fluid ahead of time. So we'll see. So the two that I'm mixing up, see, both from Nurture Soap. This one here is called the Baby Blue Mica. This is the Tropical Teal, which is just beautiful. So I thought that I would kind of strive for a different shade there. And then, I haven't used this one for a long time. Klein Blue from Nurture Soap. It's a very, very blue. I don't have as much, so we shall see. I have my goat's milk. So let's get going here. All right. Okay, so enough of the talking, so I will just shush and... So let's get making soap.
here she is. I'm not quite sure how that, uh, what is it, the stormy blue mica, how that's going to look in the end. But, uh, and it seemed like, like part of it kind of wanted to, to thicken up in there and some didn't. So it's not the fanciest of top, but you know what, it's, it's soap. And so, um, you know, I'm just more interested in how the, how the soap or how the fragrance oil will behave and everything. So I'll be probably cutting this in a few days or so. So I will see you then. Alrighty.